So before I start this video, I just wanted to mention that I am going to be doing a future video where I rate your guys' Depop pictures because if you don't know, I studied film in college, so I know a thing or two about like framing, lighting, taking nice photos, and it's going to be like a super positive, like constructive video. Like I want to be able to give people advice on like how to improve their photos and like have a better chance of like selling things on Depop. So if that is something you're interested in, whether your shop is like really developed and like you think your photos are really good or like maybe you're struggling a little bit and you need some help just comment your depop below maybe your poshmark too if you only have a poshmark comment that as well and then in a future video i'll go over everybody's shops and rate your depop pictures okay so what i sold in december it's really funny because my last what i sold for november i was kind of making like some predictions about december and silly silly me i thought that december was going to be really really slow and i wasn't going to make a lot of sales and i think that was because i was kind of like going through a bit of a dry spell at the end of the month so i thought that was going to kind of like carry into december as well but i actually ended up selling 19 items in total and in this video i'm going to go over each item and at the end we are going to calculate how much money i made in December. So if you don't know, I sell on both Depop and Poshmark and this month was interesting because I actually sold 11 things on Poshmark and 8 things on Depop, which is interesting because the last couple of months Depop has been where I've been selling the majority of my stuff, but it kind of like flipped this month. It's still like pretty even, but I did sell a little bit more items on Poshmark, which is interesting. But the first thing I sold was on Depop. It was this BMW zip up sweater. This particular clothing item was donated to me, so I got it completely for free and I ended up selling it for $30, including shipping and everything. So after the Depop and PayPal fee and the cost of shipping, I ended up making a net profit of $13.17. So the second thing I sold on Depop were these Ray-Ban brown sunglasses. If you watched my most recent mystery thrift haul, I actually found them in there. So those actually sold quite quickly. Um, not really a surprise because they are Ray-Bans. So I sold those for $40 plus $10 shipping and I ended up making $31.93, which is a really, really big net profit, at least for me. Yeah, $31, that's quite a bit for me. So I was really, really happy that those sold really quickly. Most of these items that I sell are given to me for free. I will mention if any of these things I paid for because that obviously like impacts the price. So if I don't mention it, then just assume that I got the item for free. So next, my first Poshmark sale of the month was this RW & Co cream collared sweater. So I actually sold that for $20 and I ended up making a net profit of $15.48. So next on Poshmark, I sold this vintage IBM brown windbreaker. The customer actually just bought this outright. They didn't even send me an offer or anything, which like was kind of surprising to me, um, but obviously I was really happy about that. I ended up selling it for $50 and after all of Poshmark's fees, I ended up making $38.70. And that's definitely my highest profit margin of the month for sure. Yeah, that was amazing, especially considering that I got the item for free. That obviously always helps increase my profit margins for sure. So next on Poshmark, I sold this skull tie. I honestly didn't really think I was even going to really be able to sell it. So when someone sent me an offer for $5, I kind of just like quickly impulsively accepted it. Maybe it wasn't the smartest idea because I only ended up making 53 cents on this sale, which when you factor in my like cost of like shipping materials and everything, I virtually made like no money off of this. So maybe not my smartest offer to accept, but to be honest, at the end of the day, the fact that it went to like a new home where someone's actually gonna use it, it's not really that big of a loss. So next on Depop, I sold this tan cardigan. Another thing that I got from a few mystery hauls back, I really really like this piece. Um, I kind of I kind of knew it was gonna sell and I ended up selling it for $25 plus $10 shipping and after all the fees and shipping costs I ended up making $18.86 which was really really awesome. So next on Poshmark I made a bundle sale which is always exciting. I ended up selling these vintage yellow shorts which I actually picked up in the summer and you probably would have seen them in a thrift with me video. But yeah these took a while to sell. I thought they would have sold last summer but they didn't and then I just assumed like they wouldn't sell until next summer but they actually sold in the winter so that's really interesting. So it just goes to show that people kind of like shop for all year round kind of clothes. So I sold that along with these purple 
purple tinted glasses, which I also got from my most recent mystery thrift haul. And I said in the video, like I knew they were gonna sell. So for those two items, I ended up selling them for $40 in total, but I did pay almost $10 for those shorts. So at the end of the day, I only made $21 and 37 cents for the bundle of those two items, which like, I don't mind. I got the glasses for free and they made a bundle. So like, I wanted to give them a good deal on it. So yeah, $21, that was still a good profit. So the next thing I sold on Poshmark were these red Converse that I also found in my most recent mystery thrift haul. And right away, as soon as I saw them, I knew I was going to be able to sell them. People are always, always looking for Converse. They're like that kind of shoe that just really never goes out of style. And these ones were in really good condition. So I ended up selling them for $25, which is honestly even like on the low side. So I feel like that's why they sold so quickly. And then from that, I ended up making $19.35. So I was totally happy to make almost $20 off of those ones. Okay, so next on Depop, I sold this sweater vest. And I was a little bit worried about this one because this is the second sweater vest that I've sold. And the two of them honestly look really, really similar. So when I found this one at the thrift store, I was like, well, I already sold one. So let's try to like do that again. So I sold that one for $25 plus $10 shipping. Um, This sweater vest actually cost me $4 um, at the thrift store, which is the reason I picked it up. It's because it was so cheap. So I knew I could kind of sell it for a lower price. But after deducting all of those costs and fees and everything, I ended up making $11.55. So nothing huge, but that was a fun little flip from the thrift store. And it's good to know that the sweater vest trend is still kind of like in full swing right now. So next on Poshmark, I sold this Lululemon pink zip up hoodie. And I really had no idea if I was going to be able to sell these or not. But I think these kind of sweaters are like slowly, slowly coming back into style along with, you know, the Y2K kind of trends. This was another one of those items that I got from my most recent mystery thrift haul. And clearly it sold super quick because I posted that video like not too long ago. So I ended up selling that for $20 and ended up making $15.48 off of that, which was really good. So next on Poshmark, I sold this Y2K grunge zip up sweater, as I called it. I also got this from my most recent mystery thrift haul. And I'm actually kind of surprised that this sold on Poshmark. I thought it was going to sell on Depop because, you know, Y2K is kind of like a bigger trend on Depop right now, but it did end up selling on Poshmark. And this one was funny. This one sold really quickly too, but it's funny because when I first saw it, I kind of, I did see the potential in it. In the video, I remember saying like, I think this might actually sell. And I feel like the way to sell them is really in the way that you like market them. So for example, I called it like the Y2K grunge sweater. And I feel like if I didn't include those keywords, the people trying to like find these types of sweaters like wouldn't have been able to you know what i mean so i think if something that you're selling is part of one of these really big trends and these like eras or whatever that including it in the title of the item can definitely help you increase your chances of like selling it so i ended up selling it for 25 dollars and i made 19 dollars and 35 cents so then next on poshmark i sold this primark burgundy flowy long sleep shirt and i wasn't sure about this one i wasn't sure if it was going to be able to sell so i was happy to see it go i ended up selling it for 13 dollars so i ended up making five dollars and eight cents so not like the biggest profit in the world but for something that i didn't even like know was gonna sell it's pretty good so then next on depop i sold this sage green milkmaid dress i sound like a broken record but once again this was from my most recent mystery thrift haul and the person messaged me and i think we worked out a little bit of a deal so i ended up selling it for 40 dollars, all including shipping and everything and so i ended up making 18 dollars and 98 cents off of that which i was happy with because this was a really really nice dress so next on depop i sold these lululemon baggy gray pants once again the buyer messaged me and they're super nice they were asking for a deal, so I ended up selling it to them for $35, including shipping. So at the end of the day, I made $17.59 off of those, which I was happy with. So then next was a bundle. I was really, really happy about this one because this person decided to pick up two of my handmade reworked bucket hats that I made. So they bought the Tommy Hilfiger Patrick bucket hat and the Champion Burgundy bucket hat. And yeah, I was like a little bit sad to get rid of these because like they were my own like handmade creations. So it was a little bit hard to like get rid of them, but I'm happy that they sold. They both had quite a bit of likes on them. So I kind of knew they were 
gonna sell eventually. Once again, I thought, you know, once spring, summer comes around, they'll sell, but they sold in December. So that was really cool. It's really cool to see somebody like think something that you created is like cool enough that they want to like buy it and wear it. Like that's really, really cool. So this person ended up taking advantage of my buy one, get one 50% off sale. So they got the first bucket hat for $35 and the second one for $17.50. This package was going out to Nova Scotia. So shipping was quite expensive. So shipping was almost $18. So that definitely ate into my profits, especially because the package was like so tiny and so thin. It's just like so frustrating when shipping is so expensive. But anyways, I ended up making $25.56 for the first hat and $10.81 for the, sec the second one. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't make as much money on that second hat and me making $10 probably wasn't really worth it, but I was still happy that it sold. And then my last purchase of, well, of December of all of 2020 technically actually was a bundle on Poshmark and it was this All Saints acid wash t-shirt and this Nike Naps t-shirt. The All Saints shirt was from my most recent mystery thrift haul and the Nike Naps shirt I've had for a really really long time but it sold so that was good. I gave this person a discount because they created a bundle. I ended up selling everything for $20 and I ended up making $15.48 which I thought was like really good for just two t-shirts. So that is everything I sold in December of 2020. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add up all of my profits to see how much money I made in the month of December. Okay so I just added all of my net profits up and my total net profits for December is $299.27. So I made basically $300 in December, which is really, really good for me at least. Definitely better than last month, November, and almost as good as October, which has been my best month like ever. And I think there's a couple reasons why I did really good this month. One being that it is December, everyone's kind of in the shopping mood. So I think that did probably have an impact. And the second reason is definitely because of the last mystery thrift haul I did. That game gave me a lot more inventory for the month of December. So if I didn't get all those clothes in December, I definitely think that um, my sales would have been a lot lower for sure. And another thing that I like to calculate is the average profits I made per item. And this month, th that number was about $15.73 per item, which is really good because this is actually the highest that it's ever been. And even though maybe this isn't the best month I've done in terms of like how much money I've made, it is my best month in the fact that I was able to make so many sales and still have like my average profit per item to be so high. And why that's important is because each item that I'm selling does take a certain amount of time for me to list and ship and everything. So by having my like average profit per item higher, it means that I'm making more money while still putting in the exact same amount of work if that makes sense. But anyways, that is my December 2020, what I sold. I know I said this last month, but I do think January is gonna be slow. January is usually slow for all businesses. I don't know if I'll make a what I sold in January. It just depends how much I sell. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this video can help you guys, you know, be on the lookout for what types of things are selling when you're sourcing your items. And please, please, please don't forget if you want to be featured in my video where I rate your guys' Depop pictures, don't forget to comment your Depop or your Poshmark down below. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.